Hello guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last episode, we did some more crap in the dungeon, or in the Great Bay Temple, and now in this episode, we are going to fall to our death. But as you recall in the last episode, I said that we were going to go fight the temple's boss, so let's do it. Let's do it. I want to know who this is. This is just like the water temple and ocarina time. Yeah, you look pretty good. Mm. This reminds me, and what is he doing now? Oh, oh no, it is big fist, gargantuan mass fist, Yorg. Mm. Fairly easy boss. Look out for where the bubbles are, and shoot the shit out of them. Then, as... As Zoralink, fly, 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 and jump back up on the platform, and stay towards the middle. And look for his bubbles again. Uh, there you go. Alright, he's about to, he's gonna charge here in a minute. Uh Okay, I don't know how that worked, but whatever, I don't care. Alright, shoot him. Go down. I think after two times. No, it's next time. Oh no, he got me. And he takes a whole two hearts off and oh fuck me. At least I have and he will go for you again. You can actually get stuck underwater for a while if you don't hurry. Um, dude. Alright. Let's find his bubbles. He's charging again. Alright. Go back over to him. Target him. Shoot him with an arrow. Go back down. Of course, it goes to a cutscene where you have to wait. And he drops all these fish. All they do is give you hearts and get in your way. So how about we go back? No, come on. That wasn't fair. No, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just climbing up. We're almost done with this fucker anyway. Uh, my eyes are charging again. If you stop, if you stop like feeling or hearing vibration, that means he's actually just about to charge at you. So go ahead and get to the middle. That's right. Take it. He's coming. Oh shit! Here he comes. Oh come on! Fuck me! And he shoots you off towards the wall so you can get a chance to come after you again. Just get ready to get butt raped, my friend. And... Okay, he's still... Moving around. Nope, shoot him! Oh, thank you. And this should be his last hit. One life, once again. My last playthrough, I beat him in my first try, too. Wow. I love you, stupid fish. Thank you for not killing me, but leaving me with three and three quarters of a heart. We officially have 13 hearts and hopefully very soon, 14. I need to record some of my, of my next LP, I'm not going to say it now, so I almost did. No, let's just listen to the wonderful music, you can read the text on your own.
wonderful music's gone. Uh. Oh, okay. Now I can continue resting in peace. I too must abide the laws of ancient times and again merely watch from my deep slumber. But the evil that haunts this land has not completely vanished. J Link. I shall depart after enjoying Lulu's voice a bit longer. I think the gods can permit that. Him, him, him. Hyuk, hyuk, hyuk. Alright, now that we've done that, we are officially done with the next dungeon. Isn't that wonderful, everyone? First, we can actually do something here. This isn't required, but I just like to do this. This is... You'll recognize the song once we start... Once you hear it. So let's talk to Lulu. Macau, you came back safely. That's good. I was surprised when my voice turned that lonely island into a turtle. But that song you played for me, my mother used to sing it often. Long ago. Those eggs were laid to remind me of that. That song was from when I was a very young child, so I had forgotten it. I've put it through... I put you through some horrible experiences, Macau, but I'm all better now. Well, the town's concert's very soon. Let's start a rehearsal. Two, three. Wonderful song, huh? And can you recognize that song at all? Yeah, it's the song that we had written or had had a jam session with um shit, I can't remember his name. I'm not really good with names in these in this game. Cause in all honesty, I haven't beaten this game as many times as most. So yeah. So first, what I want to do here, let's go to the Great Fairy's Fountain. Alright. Oh, that was one you can't, couldn't actually get up on. But, now that we've done all that crap, should I go get that now? You, know, you, get, you get it towards the end of the game, so I don't really care. Alright, so anywho, all you have to do is kill this crow or whatever it is, I can't remember what the name is, and hookshot across all these pits of water. Oh. Oh, thank you for not falling, because last time I did this, I actually did fall, and I was very upset. Okay, so let's go in. Alright. Great Fairy Courage, she gives you double defense this early in the game. Yay. I think this is one of the more useful things in the game. I mean, I don't need it because I, first time I beat this game, I didn't need it. But in this game, I did. So, all right, I've officially got five bucks so far. What the fucking do? I'm going to stay up until well, pretty much. Way my dad likes to work it, even though 
when I was little, I had figured this out. He paid our babysitters ten bucks or five bucks an hour still. And even when we were asleep and they were asleep, they still got paid for the hours they were asleep. So it was pretty frustrating. Let's get the bunny hood on. I want to start sprinting here. Let's get a sprint. Oh my ear. Alright. Turn to Macau. Now let's go over here. Because we can actually do something here. Ah, there it is. There is a boat over here. And a very large starfish. So jump on. And I'm going to need the hookshot here. I have 101 rupees, so I'm good here. We want to get over to here. This is actually a pretty fun game. I, I kind of like it, even though it's just jumping. But it, I like it. Mostly because it's really easy and not hard on yourself. So, what's I gonna get this tree on target? Not exactly. There we go. Alright, now that the seas are back to normal, I've started a little business aimed at Taurus. If you pay 20 rupees, I'll invite you to a jumping game that has a big, really big price. If you're up t for it, go to that inner island in the center. Okay. So, let's go. No. I can't see, but I'm going to jump line. Oh, I guess I could see. Oh, you're up for it. Now then, I'll explain the rules, so listen carefully. I'm going to light the torches on each of the surrounding four islands in particular order. Jump to the island that has the lit torch. If you can jump to it before the torch goes out, you'll get one point. If you get 20 points or more within the time limit, you'll get a big prize, but it'll cost you 20 rupees for one try. How about it? Will you give it a try? Sure. Great. In that case, I'll start. So basically, I try to get three torches in view. And if none of the... Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, if you fall, then that's it. That's that and whatnot. All right, so let's try it again. Because I epically failed at that. I'm not very happy about that. So I'm not exactly used to jumping that way. I'm used to jumping this way. Okay, so it's this one. This one again. Alright, then this one again. This one again. Oh, this one the first time. This one for the millionth time. This one. Very easy game, not very hard. You can use the bunny hood for this just for good measures, but you you jump there pretty swiftly, so or it's smooth. It's a smooth jump. So don't worry about it. Just jump when you see a torch. He will actually... I've had this happen to me once. He lit a torch on an island I was on. And what happened was I had to jump back to the middle and jump back to that island. I'm just trying to get this as straight as I can because I'm kind of getting a little nervous here. Once you get 20, do not try not to get any more points unless you're really good at this game. All right, there. Jump to the middle and stay until it ends. You know, I'll just call that a video. So. No, actually, I won't. 
I guess I'll just leave this all in. I don't understand why you need your sword for this part. Alright, that's it. And... Uh-oh. That was a little too easy. Well, oh well. Here's your prize. And we've got two pieces of heart. What the hell is that? Okay. And I was thinking of saving up to buy a big ship. Now it looks like I may go bankrupt. Oh. Sorry. Didn't mean to. Alright. So let's go back to the mountain village, because we actually need to go there, and that's where, our, where I'll end the video once we get what we need done. Alright. Okie dokie. Let's put on Don Gero's mask. Let's run over and see all the froggies. Yay. Well, if it isn't the great Don Gero, shall we sing once again? Yes. Conducting a, the conductee was spectacular, and all of our members rose to the occasion. This is how deeply we were moved by your spectacular conducting. We got our third piece of hearts. Let us do it again sometime. You don't get anything else for doing it a second time, so don't worry about it. Let's go ahead and take out the bunny hood. Why not? Make this trip a little easier, because there's actually something over here we can actually get. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Boom. Now let's put on the Zora's mask. Now let's jump down here. As you can recall, many episodes ago, there was a treasure chest down here. Well, actually, if I can actually open the chest without freaking swimming away. We get our next piece of heart, and that's the last of four. We got 14 hearts now. We are really working here. All right, so next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, we will do other stuff. I'm not pretty sure. I'm not too sure what we're going to do next, so see ya.